This is question seven of 65. A company has deployed a VPC with public and private subnets across two availability zones. Amazon EC2 instances in the private subnets need to download software updates and security patches from the internet. However, these instances should not be directly accessible from the internet for security reasons. So which solution allows outbound internet access while maintaining the security of the private instances? Let's identify the key hints. One, private subnets. Instances that either don't have access to the internet and they have no public IPs. Two, I need outbound internet access. This is for updates and patches, so not inbound, just outbound. Three, not accessible from the internet, so no inbound collections allowed. So let's look at the options. Option one, attach an internet gateway to the VPC and add a route to 0.0.0 slash .0, 0 in the private subnet route table. Option two, deploy a NAT gateway in each public subnet and update the private subnet route tables to route internet traffic through it. Option three, Assign an elastic IP address to each of the EC2 instances in the private subnet. Option four, launch a NAT instance in the public subnet with source and destination checks disabled. Drop your answer in the comments below. Our hint says not accessible from the internet. So options one and three basically give instances public IPs. That makes them reachable both are out. NAT instance works, but that's the old way of doing things. AWS actually recommends using the managed service NAT gateway. It's fully managed with better availability. So the correct answer is NAT gateway in the public subnets. So NAT gateway allows outbound traffic, so it matches the outbound need. It also blocks inbound connections. It's not even possible, right? So that match is not accessible. And private instances need to stay private. So no public IPs are attached. They just stay on the private subnet. So NAT gateway equals outbound only, and this is a standard pattern for private subnet access.